just the amount of content coming out in phase four compared to the first ones, it's going to be more dis disjointed because there's so much more stuff happening. Right. And also just worth noting for reality's sake, we're, there's so many plot lines that are just not going to be resolved. Yeah. You, you can't yeah. touch everything. It's they, they, they've always, even in like one or two movies, you have stuff that gets set up and then you don't come around to it. But they've, they've set stuff up where... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> or, so. or they surprise you and they bring it back 15 years later, like the Hulk. Yeah, they set up the leader in the very the second movie, the MCU, and he's not coming back until like the what 37th movie in the yeah, series. Yeah. yeah, well, uh, it's just you, there's so many things that yeah. And I think because the first three phases had like 25 projects, and Phase Four and Five alone had 25 projects. There's just so it's much more. Sh a shorter amount of time. I just think. People are getting like, how do I keep up with this when I have to go movie to movie, pay attention to all the plot threads, and then now there's TV shows I got to follow. Yeah, because there's Moon Knight as well. I was, I literally, I was about to say that. <laughs> yeah, I, like, we, I didn't even think we had, we had a lot of off-camera discussions trying before to lay this, out our thoughts, trying here. to lay it out. Moon Knight never came out. <laughs> no, didn't even remember that happened. Great TV so, show, yeah. no shade thrown on it at all. But it's just like we said, there's just so many things yeah. Yeah. to keep track of. That. And because there's so many things, there's so many things that are not connected. Like, or you forget about. Yeah, them. if if he didn't have any ties to anything else, then it's not a ma major plot line that Give we're trying that to grab in. Because if you Let's look at the overall phase, if you think about it movie to movie, it really is about gods. Mm -hmm. Because Thor: Love and Thunder, they introduce all the gods of Olympus. Mm -hmm. You have the gods of Egypt, which is basically everything in Moon Knight. Mm -hmm. Everybody, I feel like, even Kang himself. Is, is, is so far made himself into a into god. a god. Every, yeah. The whole thing about, I think, the theme of these movies is the idea of the multiverse, but the idea that gods are in control of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is is entire, fate your own? Yeah, or is it being controlled by someone else? It's literally going to change so much of our outline. <laughs> Just missing Moon Knight, <laughs> mess me up. Basically, with the end credit scenes that all these movies have left, it. it puts into perspective that when are they going to fill these plot lines and why is it taking so long? I think that's everybody's impatience is why is it taking so long for, you know, why don't we know about the, Tiamat. yeah, in the middle of Eternals yeah. coming out of the yeah. ocean. Why don't we know about that? They mentioned it in She-Hulk mm -hmm. for and like two seconds yeah, in an article, but why don't we, we have Shang-Chi, the end credit scene of that where something is calling his rings sent out a beacon and mm -hmm. we still don't know where that is. So we kind of have yeah. ideas that we put together to kind of fill these plot lines as well as the other post credit scene of Eternals with Eros and Pip. Right. Yeah. And them. The brother, hunt, not brother of Thanos. Thanos. Yeah, the brother adopted of Thanos. brother, maybe? Yeah. It's her hunting other Eternals. Mm -hmm. And then you have end credit scenes. Well, not scenes. hunting. He's like searching, searching for yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are hunting for, but not hunting. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're tracking down. Yeah. yeah. And then you have post credit scenes with Doctor Strange and dealing with Clear, the dark, the, dimensions. dark dimensions. Incursions, all that stuff. There's, yeah. And then Spider Man, No Way Home. You had, uh, you, you set up the Venom and then you took him right from us. <laughs> and now right he's away. just. The symbiote's there, and I don't think they know where they're going to take it because they want Spider-Man as a grounded hero rather mm -hmm. than yeah. this outerworldly symbiote. By null kind of default, he, he it's an alien, so like you, you I want step, null so bad, yeah. bro. <laughs> well, I want null. Well, I want null all the time. That might be a little step above ground level. Null but. all the time. <laughs> oh and then God. we also have other ground heroes that have not been introduced. Oh, well, he was off camera in Eternals with Blade. Oh yeah. And the, and the cast members, Black Knight, Black Knight is going to show up at some and point. And the cast members of Werewolf by Night. Mm -hmm. They can work with Moon Knight. True. They could. Yeah, they we're could. horrible. We, we can solve that problem. <laughs> we suck. Let's just throw them Stop in the we suck. and we're good to go. <laughs> but yeah, they, they set up in Guardians 3. We have the newfound Guardians of the Galaxy crew mm -hmm. with Rocket leading and Quill back on Earth with his grandfather, mm -hmm. which sets up his own path, whether that be a singular movie. Yeah. Or and he's uh, and he's around anyway. for Earth based adventures now too. Like he's yeah. he's not in retirement. He's he's not just going to sit there so and watch. So we want to go through the movies that have happened so far, mm -hmm. right? And highlight plot holes, right? Yeah. Yes. Try and let's, find get in, let's get into our stuff first that, movie. that needs to to be addressed, and then we're going to try and do our best to 
address that in a way that also leads toward a, a re rewarding story there. So yeah, Shang-Chi. Right. So yeah. we got the post credit scene with the rings. So the plot of going forward with Shang-Chi is that his rings, when he took over the rings power from his father, it activated a beacon, mm -hmm. but they don't actually know where the beacon has come from. Yeah. But it sent out a beacon to Kamertage, and we assumed anywhere else, which we'll yeah. go into later, so we have an idea. It's sending the signal somewhere, and it might not even be necessarily going to Kamertage, but they can sense it. So this presence, this signal is being felt by places with people who have this sort of higher attunement. Whether that's magic, whether that's cosmic explanation Science, that, that they're going to yeah. BS their way into in Marvel movies. Yeah. yeah. But so whatever. That needs to be addressed. Yeah. That's going somewhere. And Captain Marvel has no clue. And then she left. Yeah. And she, she's got stuff to deal with. So <laughs> Bruce Banner. Bruce didn't even have an excuse. Yeah. He, he just said, I'm, just I'm left. She's like, I'm yeah. done. And uh, then they went to sing karaoke together. Yeah. And I think that that's the that post credit scene, that issue where the rings are calling to where they're from, their origin, their kind of whole story. Yeah. Even though, like maybe for this movie, you could say, okay, well, that's the only plot thread that's remaining. I think it's a pretty significant one because people online, when it was happening, were going, oh, Kane, rings, Pointing Kane. left da, 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 and right. Da, 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 da. It's I mean, we mephisto yeah. the whole thing, basically. Yeah, it's... Not People manifestoed for years, yeah. <laughs> and then we got bonered yeah. um, with uh, Quicksilver and yeah. uh, yeah. WandaVision. Ugh. So it's it's not as big of a threat, but there is the second credit scene does just set up that his sister is is dealing with the Ten Rings, right? That's so it's not really movie. like a thread. It's more just introducing a new faction that is out there now, and so if they if they yeah. exist then we need to do something with them. Which mm -hmm. we will use to tie in Daredevil, Kingpin, and that yeah, kind of Yeah, we, got, we got some ideas. We're going yeah. to draw it all together there. Now, we have Thor, Love, and Thunder. Hercules is coming after yeah. um, Thor, and that Thor has a super-powered daughter. And they are off in the universe doing their own thing. And Jane's in Valhalla. Yeah. And uh, well, actually, yeah, we didn't even think about any of the Valhalla stuff. <laughs> I right? think they just did that just, That's to, just to have her to, character to, go off. to put her in a reserve over here. Yeah. All the Valhalla stuff is non-time sensitive because it's all of eternity. The, all the warriors who have ever been are here forever. So that which, can be something they draw from now. That can be something they draw from in 10 years. It's Which you could bring up another question. Who else is in Valhalla? Yeah, because it's not, it's clearly not just the Norse gods it's well maybe she maybe Jane was brought in because she wielded Mjolnir yeah you know so maybe that's kind of her you know entry ticket in because there was some yeah Norse mythological connection I because guess I think she had the power think, when you think about Moon Knight and how there's their um the land of the reeds from the Moon Knight series mm -hmm. it's almost as if the gods have their own kind of sector of the afterlife yeah, that they like choose to represent. It's like their own realm of it. Yeah. yeah. So they might all be in the same location, but they might not have access to each, to each other. other. You yeah. know what I mean? We've got to be able to explain it somehow yeah. in universe. It's, it's got to make Because that's clearly where Odin went. Yeah. 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 He, he just, yeah. Yep. So now do they use Valhalla in any way to bring Odin back into the fold? It's like, how do you even know post- Secret Wars is a thing. Yeah. Or are they just showing us that Jane is I, in a better place? I think they're just, yeah, trying to put some closure to that while also leaving it like open where we can bring her back, but also not having her story end with dying in eternity after suffering cancer. And then that's the end. Like, it she could has, be a way for future plot points to happen. Like, maybe Heimdall's going to interact with Thor in the future. Maybe Jane's or Odin's going to interact with Thor in the future. Mm -hmm. But as far as like Heimdall leaving Valhalla, going back to Earth and doing something, I think breaking that would be too big of a... Yeah. Like it would be too big to... So it may be like an observatory type thing right. for those kind of characters. Mm -hmm. Like a Watcher-esque oh, scenario. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And from there we have the TV show Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which at the end of that we have a new Captain America... And we also have a new team of anti-heroes, would you call them? Led I by would, heroes, but I feel led like by a, they uh, are anti-hero anti leader. 
probably think they're heroes. Right. But yeah, they're they're a in, band of misfits. Yeah. They're they're like rough heroes. Right. Is it a suicide squad suicide, suicide squad, squad type of feel? <laughs> Call it some sort of yeah. suicide squad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I don't think they're quite as aggressive. No, but, but yeah. It's, it's essentially it's yeah, it's yeah. the it's the bad guy, good guys. Led by Bucky Barnes. Yeah. Yelena. We so have. yeah so by the end of the them series you haven't set up the whole team but the the seeds are there to know that mm -hmm. that team needs to be addressed so yeah. because she talks to john walker john walker and she basically informs him that she's putting a team together basically yeah. the way it's, nick fury did with iron man yeah i can't even remember so the who was the leader of the bad organization carter i don't think sharon she's, carter Oh yeah, actually, that's another plot thread that we never <laughs> addressed. So, power broker has got to be power broker. But what does yeah. she even do? See, to me, Sharon Carter, I think, is useless. Yeah, power power broker. They can that that's an easy one. We can write that off into their they work for Kingpin or something. That's yeah, yeah. or in the because in, in the span of the multiverse, does Sharon Carter have a purpose? That's, yeah, it's it's there's so many bigger things that we're working with that. Yeah, oh, boy, they're there to bring back after Secret yeah. Wars. We're, oh yeah, Sharon Carter. Focus on, <laughs> on big plot threads, not yeah. all, not all the little ones that are fraying from the sweater. Like, but so we got the Thunderbolts team that needs to be addressed, and what Falcon is going to do, which will lead into Captain America Brave, Brave New, New World. World is what it's is called now. Yeah, because he actually has New World movie. Order. What's Some of the these title? are going to be theoretical <laughs> ones that I think it's Brave New, Brave now New World. Now they changed it? Yeah. Because yeah. I think New World Order was a little too... With Ross yeah. becoming Red Hulk. So they say. Harrison Ford yeah. has taken the mantle, which I don't know how long he's going to be around. Oh, I, I think that he's going to be around quite a while. <laughs> okay. Harrison Ford is kicking. He's in his 80s, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's, he's that's doing true. his own stunts still. That's, that's true. Yeah. Betty White. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> true. And we have Werewolf by Night. It's another, I wouldn't call it a TV show, but it's a one-off hour special. Like a mini movie. Which was yeah, actually yeah. great. I don't You guys watched it. I, I liked like it a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they come up with a color version? After yeah, I, they did. I don't understand it, the purpose of that because at the, the end color. of the movie, the, the special, it turned it color. It turned color. The, the point of the filming it like that was, the, yeah, that it was, it, it was a design choice. Yeah. But, yeah. No, I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, that's going to fit more so onto the local scene i mean in our brain we organize everything into local as in earth 616 mm -hmm. bound yeah. heroes villains types of activities space so guardians of the galaxy or multiversal where we have yeah, it's doctor strange you know yeah. all these other things agatha agatha so kang K K kang yeah. oh he's <laughs> how do you miss that one <laughs> that's a, but that's a big one but. yeah so that's going to be more of a local phenomenon. It's going to tie into Blade, probably. Yeah. Um, the The biggest thread from that is just yeah that it's it's a supernatural group that needs to to work with that Blade sort of. So who's in the group? I don't even know the names of the people. So, so the main point of the group, I think, the main character of going forward that we might use, who I will use that later, that is Man Thing. Oh, Man Thing. As well as Elsa Bloodstone. Bloodstone, yeah. right. Bloodstone was the one that I remembered. But I think the Man Thing is going to have a major Because he does well, I'm have... I'm going to put him in a major yeah, role. He ha <laughs> they, well, they put him in there for a reason. They yes. could have they could have put any character in there. And by putting him in with all the other... He has a lot of other powers and stuff, mm -hmm. right? So hmm. by doing that, instead of just any other creature, they, they had to have done that on purpose. Because so we're in the comics, he guards the realm. The, some to the watcher and the multiversal yeah. he like how we saw in multiverse of madness with strange and america chavez going through those doors into the realm where the book was man thing is in charge of protecting all those sanctions so yeah use that going we're gonna forward. we're gonna assume if they introduced he's been him. on vacation i guess yeah, yeah. <laughs> well he was the, they had him caught and they yeah. were hunting him that's why yeah i guess yeah. yeah and we also have the plot of where the heck is vision <laughs> yeah wandavision has <laughs> uh, most of its threads have been resolved by now yeah. except for yeah where where did he go i'm not worried about vision no he's gone he's he's, <laughs> he's somewhere over. it's got to be addressed we might not end up addressing it because we'll what movie would he fit in of the well okay so number one what are the confirmed marvel titles that are going to be happening for phase five and six so phase five 
from what we've already had, we've had Quantumania, mm-hmm. we've had Secret Invasion, we've had the Marvels. the Marvels, but going forward, we have Deadpool 3, mm-hmm. we have Blade. Well, confirmed dish. It's they've been trying to write, they've been it. trying, yeah. It's but if, if we still don't have a script, it's maybe not necessarily 100%. Thunderbolts and Captain America 4, yeah, those Dare, are the Daredevil. That's a series. Though. That's a series, a series and that one is back to the drawing board for writing again, too. So that might not be so, till phase six. Yeah. So <laughs> like, knows? confirmed that have yeah. like scripts and are shooting. We definitely have Deadpool three, Captain America, and Thunderbolts left so, to go. So, and Agatha, and Agatha. But so to me, of those, Vision seems to only fit in with Captain America. If Possibly. not even. Because I, with the WandaVision series, they were trying to, like, they made, white, they made him. Yeah, they were trying to create their own. So that's kind of a U.S. Hero. military type that operation is true. thing. They tracking were, him down. Yeah. So that's the only place that he could fit in to me in the future, unless he goes with Agatha, because there's that one connection. Because he has that connection. Right. I, I know that in the, in the comics that he does have a very strong, um, the connection to the young avengers but in our like in what's been established he has no connection like he they don't exist yeah they yeah. they don't exist but he has no ties to any of them yeah. like he he was the one who formed the young avengers originally but that was a different version of the vision with a lot of different ties to other things so like could they try and force him into there maybe but it wouldn't really make it would make less sense than putting him somewhere like captain america yeah that's true at any point, do you think he would look for Wanda? Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. That's yeah. also a p- plot, like that's, she, yeah, because no one's ever yeah. really gone. Yeah, there's no way Did she, she really got die? crushed. No, even though they they said they confirmed, but I don't believe it. Well, they they say they a lot of things they to didn't. try and yeah, yeah. They, they said they, they've both. gone both ways. They change. They say whatever you need to say. It's it it goes back to it's all just just marketing. They 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 don't want to spoil stuff by telling you the answer, so they'll tell you a lie so that. The actual answer is more surprising. Yeah. And the most recent Marvel project, the Marvels, they marketed it so people would go see because they marketed the end credit scene. Yeah. they The first time they've ever marketed an end credit scene to get people into the theater because it introduces the X-Men. It's a pretty big plot pretty huge. that we got we to gotta work on there. Yeah. But it's also, like we were talking about off camera, it's a specific version of the X Men, yes, right? Yes. It's, it's not just not just the idea of them. It's yeah, or it's not just throwing in the word mutant every mm-hmm. once in a while in yeah. a show to hint that it's coming or play some music in the mm-hmm. background. Tell the people what this version of the what we think or what is confirmed or whatever. So for those of you who are not caught up, they're creating X Men ninety seven, and they've already confirmed that X Men ninety seven follows the events of x-men the animated series from the 90s so all five seasons back in the day that's all official now and i think that's a smart way to not have to rebuild the entire x-men universe because secret wars in kang dynasty is like Mm -hmm. three years away that you have all this extra plot of the x-men already developed that you can go right into this new season six of x-men 97 and at the end of captain marvel she wakes up because at the end she has to close the, the a, rift, a rift from the other side. Yes, and she ends up in the hands of Monica, her, right? Monica, Rambo, Monica. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monica Rambo. She ends up in the hands of her mother. Well, so Maria Quotes, Rambo, yeah. but this is not necessarily because she doesn't know yeah. who she is. Because so this from version of her may not be her mother, but the the person is the person exists. Yeah, and yeah. she's in a lab, Monica Rambo, and then you see Beast walk by. Mm-hmm. Not just any beast. Not just any beast. Kelsey Grammer is back as Beast, but he looks identical to Dude. the Beast from the X Men animated yeah. series. And going back to what you're saying about the using the X Men animated series as the like the backstory, I think it's also a really smart move because they don't get stuck tied to the Fox like lore and canon. Like Fox yeah. could barely keep their own stuff straight, and like while they were they were great movies, what they were, you don't have to to try and stick with that. Like the same way that No Way Home brought back those exact <laughs> versions of those villains. And so you had to like respect their histories. Yeah. If you try and bring in the Fox X-Men exactly as they were, that's so many things you have to try and respect. Whereas if, if you use the the animated show as a, a jumping point, you still have a backstory, but without such a convoluted 
like amount of, of information to take in. Yeah, this multiversal door that's been opened with all these different movies and shows that have happened. It is really great in the sense that we're not stuck to past productions that we might not like, mm -hmm. but it's also a little bit overwhelming, you know, mm -hmm. because you're so have, much that could happen at any point in time. So many possibilities, so many probably missed great storylines because there's so many comics and writers that have written so many great stories that you could pull from anything and mm -hmm. it might not be what fans want to see it might not be might not make the most sense for the mcu at the current moment as we've seen they don't make the great the best decisions they all the time don't always yeah make the best choices. but you know i'm, I'm glad they answered the question because we were wondering for a while like we are hearing that the x-men are coming we mm -hmm. are hearing mutants are coming yeah how mm -hmm. so this where, is where did good, they all come from why weren't they here before this all is a good answer of, yeah. And, and you can't just blame it on the blip. Yeah, everything yeah. can't be from that. And and yeah, you want to have some history there. You don't want to be starting fresh again. Like sometimes it's nice to have a reboot, but we don't want to start yeah. from scratch every single time. Deadpool 3 is going to be a great way to poke fun at that. Yeah. And I mean, with the fourth wall breaking stuff, it might be a way for some explanation to the audience for that to happen as well. Like, you know yeah you can explain it without having yeah. to stick with like a uh, give a, a solid answer you can just put, exactly poke fun and be like you you look like you used to be animated like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah something yeah. like that <laughs> yeah what's with the yellow and blue <laughs> yeah <laughs> you said you never wear that last time i met you we've never met before oh yeah. okay yeah yeah and because deadpool 3 i don't know where they want to put it in the timeline if it's after x-men 97 but i think not having to shoehorn in a bunch of mutants in the mcu where they came from another universe i think is a better way than having them just all appear but because we've had miss marvel she was the first technically mutant mm -hmm. in the mcu so but, if you have a couple here and there that have dormant genes mm -hmm. like hers was dormant but was brought out by the power of her bracelet yeah but where you can get the major which what does that mean i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it, it means that, but it means that we don't have to have every single X Men come in from a multiversal split. Yeah, you can have a couple of the main ones, and then maybe Dazzler actually is from Six One Six and gets her powers later on. Like that kind of like an incursion could happen, which causes things a wave to of, awaken more mutants. Yeah. You don't have to have every single X Men character come in from another universe. We only need to get Wolverine and Beast and Charles to come in, and then everyone else can kind of fill the, the ranks naturally we're tangenting a little bit though what's it, the next that's, movie well, that, that's what <laughs> that is what happens for. though because yeah. it's just you go with all these different narratives and stories and you're like okay well how do you fix this how do you fix that that's the point of all these there's plot a, holes a lot of threads not really plot holes yeah plot threads yeah, yeah. because at the end of ant-man quantumania <laughs> basically the entire <laughs> saga has led to kang mm -hmm. and now there's some major controversy going around with what they're going to do but at the end of Ant-Man 3, they introduce the Council of Kangs, mm -hmm. which is the big bad of the, the entire saga, saga, basically the Thanos of the next. And I think that we should probably just put it with all the stuff that's gone on lately with the news, we should probably throw out that we are going to base this on keeping Kang. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. Not, recasting. Yeah. We are recasting Kang and we're moving forward as if all of the, the news with Jonathan Majors didn't happen, essentially. In general. For, like, for the most part, we're not yeah. we're not working on how to scrap everything and bring in doom or any of that kind of it's stuff. We're trying to we're trying to work with the trajectory that's already begun. Yeah, because if I think we could make better couple three, four, five movies in the future, which we're going to do in a little bit, but <laughs> I think we could make better movies in the future. But if you watch the previous movies, like you watch Quantum Mania, you mm -hmm. see the Council of Kings. And then you see the next Doctor Strange or you see something else. You see the next Thor or something. And it doesn't refer to anything you've already seen. Yeah, it just... It doesn't it really make any sense. Feels so so disjointed. Council of Canes, they displayed them being rowdy in this giant Coliseum-like area. I mean, that's got to be addressed. Yeah. Somehow, mm -hmm. you know, whether Beyond it's, just a footnote at the end of Loki that says, oh, we're monitoring Kangs now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because I think they were using, now I don't know how they had to work Loki season two, which was one of their best things they've done in a long time. Yeah, very good. If they had planned in the works to kind of have a safe route in case something happened. It, it 
feels a like they haven. did, but it also feels like how could they have? Because the the show was done filming before there yeah. was any, even any drama. Yeah. So they could easily go the route of Loki is now in charge of the multiverse. They have the control of Kang and they can go a different direction if they wanted. But we're going to keep it with not all of them can be monitored and mm -hmm. some are more yeah. powerful than others. That Somebody's going to start making yeah. trouble. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I think we have the understanding that the Council of Kings, where they were, is outside of the branches of timelines, mm -hmm. similar to how the TVA is. So while the TVA is monitoring the timelines and keeping control of Kings that may or may not be in different branches, mm -hmm. the Council of the Kings perhaps exist outside of time the same way the TVA does. So the, whether they know they exist is yeah, a question. They might not even, yeah, they might not even realize they exist. They're not being monitored because they're not on their timelines. Mm -hmm. So when they're looking at the timelines from within the TVA, there are no Kangs because they're all outside of time. So in short, Kang staying for us. Yeah. Yes. And with Kang, we even saw in the council that there's a higher council. Yeah. There's like a control, like con the, a the head of the council. table. Yeah. Was one of them King Tut? Is that Rama Tut? Rama Tut, Rama Tut Scarlet was, Centurion, uh, mm -hmm. and Amortis seem to be. They never confirmed any of their names, but mm -hmm. that's, that's what, what they it look like. like. Yeah. Now, do you think any of those three are the biggest version of Kang, or do you think he's still out there? Because they did say in Ant Man three that this was the most powerful, but I don't buy that by a second because he was defeated. I would like to quotes, think. Well, so we're, we're going to go through a bunch of different movie ideas, but I just think that. I like just standalone, I would like there to be a different, more powerful version of Kang. And I would be okay with that being the one from Quantumania, but not at that <laughs> moment in time. Like maybe after like he escapes from whatever he's been like, he didn't get killed. I don't think, I think he was trapped somewhere. And maybe that version ends up escaping and becoming more powerful. Kind of like Red Skull. It, kind of, yeah. Or he was or teleported he, somewhere. Yeah, he was sent somewhere else and then gained all that extra, except instead of basically coming to peace with, with his lot in life, he rages against it and ends up even even angrier and more deadly than he was before. Except both of them are going to be recast. So Yeah, well, there's... <laughs> <laughs> never know. Maybe they, Red Skull, they might get Hugo Weaving back. If, they don't, if he doesn't have to do any makeup. What would they use him for? I don't know, but they could. He's a plot thread. <laughs> He's a plot thread. <laughs> Honestly, though, I know it's everywhere already, but just going off of that, the um, the Captain America series that we always want of him returning the Infinity Stones to mm -hmm. the timelines. Why isn't that a what if episode? W why isn't that a what if? Why isn't that its Maybe own what it if is. season? They, are they yeah, all like, out now? <laughs> you know, I go to Marvel, the website, and I look up Marvel, horrible. I look up if fans can give suggestions and every single time I look up, I know that it's no, but I keep going back because <laughs> they're, you're just missing the ball. One, one of these days, they're going to listen to you. You're missing it. Listen, the writers are getting paid more. That, yeah, that's all said or less. So they're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> Don't start. pay me. Just make a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pay me. We're looking at quality, not quantity, Yeah, yeah. which is why I think they are starting to scale back. A scale bit. back. Yeah. They, they did have like 15 films on the slate and now there's a bunch that have disappeared. And yeah. so, yeah, we're going to work with the number that are still available. The problem with some of these plot threads that haven't been resolved or some of the shows that kind of left us wanting more or weren't actually needed is with, let's go to Secret Invasion, where we started somewhere and we ended in the exact same spot. Pretty much, yeah. Like, I didn't watch all of Secret Invasion. I kind of stopped and I just looked to you guys. How did it go? The, <laughs> yeah, pretty much the, the, the end of it. It left a lot of stuff the same, and then it changed some things very radically for no reason. Like Fury is back in space. The only difference is that he's brought his wife with him, who doesn't end up showing up in anything else yet. But then all of a sudden it creates a new hero with Gaia, who is insanely powerful. Mm. That's a huge plot there that needs to be addressed at some point because... Yeah, it's not like I mind Gaia existing, but the fact that it's such a... It's it's such a like a inconsequential consequence for the show mm -hmm. that nobody seems to have addressed. It's very similar to Tiamat, the celestial being in the middle of the ocean. It's mm -hmm. like that's a very cool concept, and there's cool things you can do from the comics with that. There's great things you can do from the comics with Gaia, mm -hmm. but what what has happened? You know, it's the same thing when you look at Thor: Love and Thunder. I mean, the show and the 
Secret Invasion show ending where it started. Mm -hmm. It's the same reason why I hate one-off villains. Yeah, One-off villains are the worst, especially what they ungodly, like what they did to Gore. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And what yeah. they did with Tom Cruise. How do you have Tom Cruise... Tom yeah, Cruise. How do you Tom, have Tom uh, Cruise there? I didn't even realize they did. Tom, uh, Iron Man? Christian Bale. <laughs> Christian Bale. How do you have Christian Bale? I love Christian Bale. How do you have Christian Bale put as much effort as he did into gore and have it be like and get what it was him. Yeah, in one movie? Mm -hmm. You got Christian Bale buying, buying in. I think he wanted to really do it because his daughter wanted to see him in it. Mm -hmm. So he had like the parental motivation mm -hmm. to really do a good job. You could have nailed him for like two, three movies and had Gore be an amazing yeah. villain. Yeah, you, you can tell and the same gone. story you do, just don't end up with them dying. It's, and part of it too is, I don't know if I saw this somewhere or whatever, but Taika doesn't, isn't really a comic book fan, didn't really care, was wanting to make it he for just the, wanted money the money or yeah. something. And, and then whether Marvel, that's true or not, I mean, who knows? He said but, it. For Thor 4, he just was there for the money. Yeah. I think he did say it, but he did. Marvel then released a statement like, or somebody said something where they're like, oh, in the future, we're going to make sure that our directors or producers or whoever have a love for comics. I'm like, Isn't that the first thing you would that's, want? Yeah. Like, what are we doing? That's that's the people that you want to tell these stories, the people who want to tell a story. Yeah. Like, also get directors who have done things before. Yeah. You should I understand probably you have... love getting first time directors to put their stamp on stuff. But if you're only doing that to save money, and that's not you're how not you want to go about it. And especially when this, the, the studio wants to have so much control over all of the other parts of it. It's like, well, we need to set this up. We need to set that up. We need this to happen. So you don't leave enough room for that director that you've hired to try and do their vision to actually have a vision. That's because, why. Yeah. So then, but then yeah. don't, don't go for somebody who has never handled the film before. If you want to tell most of the story, get somebody who can tell a really good story. Henry Cavill, stop making Warhammer <laughs> for 40,000, yeah, 4 million, yeah. whatever Hop it is. Come over to Marvel. Come over to Marvel. <laughs> fix this. Yes. Like, because he's someone, you, you know, care with, about yeah. the with the Witcher you series, yeah. with Superman. Like, it's, you can, he, very obvious. Like, he, mm -hmm. he, any project he's a part of, he, yeah. wants, he wants to be a thousand yeah, percent to, in. Yeah. But he's, he's not a director, but we want but him in. We, per, but he could be. That, could. But he's, he could be. <laughs> he could. Yeah, it wouldn't be the greatest thing. Producer. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. if he is also, if he is in the the thing, if he's acting in it, he's going to make sure that the rest of it. He's going to call everybody else mm -hmm. out yep. on like like that's the stories at least from The Witcher is that he would be calling people out and saying that's not that's Accurate. not true. Yeah. That's not true to form. So yeah, that's yeah. the kind of person that you need involved, and then they're going to hold everybody else accountable. Which is why we're going to start making our movies. 